In 1965, a gripping war movie hit theaters, showing a big battle from World War II. It's called The Battle of the Bulge, and it's about a major fight between Allied and Axis forces in the Ardennes Forest in 1944-1945. The movie has famous actors and exciting action scenes that capture the tension and bravery of that time. There are lots of surprising, funny, and sad moments in the film, so pay attention as you watch. Which actor's performance did you like the most? Or do you remember the first time you saw this movie? Now, tell us about your favorite memory or personal experience with this movie. Share your stories in the comments below. We're excited to hear them. Keep watching for more interesting facts and stories about this war movie. And remember to tell us what you think. The movie Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, has garnered mixed reviews over the years. One common criticism revolves around historical inaccuracies, notably in the depiction of equipment and hairstyles. Despite understandable constraints on using authentic Tiger tanks, the film's portrayal of military gear falls short of accuracy. The hairstyles of the actors, particularly Robert Shaw's distinctive blonde dye job and the mid-60s thick long haircuts sported by many characters, also draw criticism for being anachronistic. Similar critiques extend to other war movies of the era, where actors' hairstyles often reflect contemporary trends rather than the historical period being depicted. Overall, while Battle of the Bulge offers entertainment value, viewers should be prepared for deviations from historical accuracy in both equipment and appearance. The movie Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, was directed by Ken Onakin. He was a founding member of the Hollywood Democratic Committee during the 1930s, supporting President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal agenda. Additionally, he co-founded the theater group at the University of California at Los Angeles in 1959 with John Houseman and Sidney Harmon. Later, in 1968, he co-founded the Plumstead Playhouse Repertory Company with Henry Fonda and Martha Scott. In the movie, Henry Fonda plays the role of U.S. President, a role he portrayed twice more in Fail Safe and Meteor. Fonda also appeared as the son of U.S. President in The Longest Day and as a future president in Young Mr. Lincoln. The film depicts the famous battle during World War II, focusing on the German offensive in the Ardennes region. It portrays the intense fighting between Allied and Axis forces during the winter of 1944-1945. Ken Onikin's direction in the movie showcases the strategic maneuvers and harrowing experiences of soldiers on both sides of the conflict, capturing the tension and uncertainty of war. Overall, it is a compelling portrayal of one of the pivotal battles of World War II, with a talented cast bringing the historical events to life on the big screen. The movie Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, features Jean-Pierre Aumont's sister-in-law. Before starring in this film, Aumont had appeared in various television series. His film debut occurred in 1961 with Mad Dog Call, followed by Birdman of Alcatraz, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. In July 2005, Ahmad appeared as a guest at the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, N.C., alongside Donna Douglas, Ed Nelson, Elena Verdugo, Richard Anderson, Lorna Gray, Joe Morrow, and Henry Darrow. Ahmad's career trajectory showcases his transition from television to film, culminating in notable roles and recognition within the industry. The movie Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, was nominated for Broadway's 1969 Tony Award as the author of the best play nominee The Man in the Glass Booth. In the film, the Germans sing a song called Panzerlied, but they only sing the first four lines. The author was a member of Company C, 12th Medical Training Battalion, 4th Medical Training Regiment at Camp Pickett, Virginia. Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, features Henry Fonda, who shared a close friendship with Jane Stewart since the early 1930s. Fonda and Stewart were roommates in Hollywood and both gained reputations as ladies' men. Even after marrying and having children, they remained close, often spending time together building model airplanes. In the movie, Robert Shaw, an Englishman, along with Ty Harden and Barbara Wuerl, both Americans, portrayed German characters. Despite being native English speakers, they convincingly portrayed German soldiers in the film. Fonda served as a spokesperson for the Players Club Gold Card from 1981 to 1990. Trained as an opera singer, Battle of the Bulge rarely got to use his fine singing voice in movies. In one musical, State Fair, his voice was dubbed as the studio didn't know he was a trained singer. He didn't correct the mistake because he felt the singer dubbing him probably needed the money. He lived in a large ranch house in a wooded suburb of Hollywood. 
The epilogue of the movie dedicates it to the one million men who fought in World War II. It generalizes names, characters, and actions to convey the spirit and essence of the battle. In 1965, a movie called Battle of the Bulge came out, set in World War II. It's an important part of movie history. The main actor in it got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. He was also considered for a big part in another movie called The Beast Must Die. He was in two other famous movies, The Sting and Jaws, both known for their importance, and got into the National Film Registry. These awards show how good the actor was and how much he contributed to movies. Battle of the Bulge is still remembered as one of his important movies. In the 1965 movie Battle of the Bulge, the actor Henry Fonda starred alongside his good friend John Wayne. Fonda's son, Peter Fonda, revealed in his autobiography that his father disagreed politically with John Wayne and Ward Bond, who were more conservative. After a dispute with director John Ford during the filming of Mr. Roberts in 1955, Fonda distanced himself from Ford's group. Fonda, who graduated from Omaha Central High School in Nebraska in 1923, lived at the Sheraton Universal Hotel in Universal City, California from 1973 until he passed away in 1994. He frequented the hotel bar so often that it was eventually named after him, known as Telly's. In Battle of the Bulge, Pierre Angeli, who used to be a big star, has a small role. He shows up about halfway through the movie. Even though his daughter Jane Fonda got nominated for an Oscar in 1982, they were the first dad and daughter to both get Oscar nominations at the same time. Angeli got really sick because he smoked a lot, which gave him a bad lung disease. His smaller role in the movie shows he was good at playing different kinds of characters, even in not-so-big parts. This special nomination for both him and his daughter added to the movie's fame, showing off their family's talent. His health problems didn't just affect his personal life, but also made his career story more touching, reminding people that certain habits can really hurt you. All these things make Battle of the Bulge's history and cast more interesting, giving us a peek into how Hollywood works and the real lives behind the scenes. Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, features an actor who had a close association with its producer-director, Irwin Allen. He later appeared in Allen's films Beyond the Poseidon Adventure and Alice in Wonderland. Additionally, the actor graced the front cover of TV Guide five times during his career. He also starred in eight movies nominated for the Oscar Best Picture, including Jezebel, The Grapes of Wrath, The Oxbow Incident, Mr. Roberts, Twelve Angry Men, The Longest Day, How the West Was Won, and On Golden Pond. His career spanned various roles and genres, showcasing his versatility and talent across the cinematic landscape. The Battle of the Bulge, released in 1965, is a historical war film that has garnered attention over the years. However, some interesting facts surrounding its cast have emerged. In a 1989 television interview, actor John Erickson and his wife Karen Erickson revealed insights about Pierre Angeli's death. They mentioned that Pierre's twin sister, Marissa Povahan, informed them that Pierre did not commit suicide. Instead, Pierre had a severe reaction to medication administered by a doctor, resulting in her death. John Erickson, who played a role in the film, attended Loyola Academy in Wilmette, Illinois, where he excelled in football. He was an all-city tackle during his senior year, showcasing his athletic prowess. Additionally, the cast of the Battle of the Bulge was involved in various other projects. For instance, John Erickson appeared in a theater production of Old Times by Harold Pinter in 1971, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. These insights provide a deeper understanding of the individuals involved in the Battle of the Bulge and their experiences beyond the film itself.